Now, New York's number one news, Channel 7 Eyewitness News. Meanwhile, the mother of a man accused of murdering Karina Vetrano speaking out, saying her son is not a criminal and wouldn't hurt anyone. But she admits he does have mental health issues. Cops tonight painting a very different picture, saying in a fit of rage, Chanel Lewis lost it and strangled Vetrano. Eyewitness News reporter Kimberly Richardson is live at the courthouse in Queens with the story. Kimberly? Well, Vita Lewis will be back here inside of a courtroom on February 21st when her son Chanel faces a judge. Today, she spoke out for the very first time, gave a very limited view inside her world and at her son, who she says she loves and supports. I raised my son to be a God-fearing man and to respect life. But Vita Lewis's son Chanel allegedly took a life. Police say murdered Karina Vetrano in Spring Creek Park back in August. The 20-year-old investigators say confessed to strangling the avid jogger. They say they have strong DNA evidence. Now Mrs. Lewis is breaking her silence. My son has a mental health problem and needs help. He's not a criminal and need mental res resources. But when I try to ask specifically what mental health problems this suspect is wrestling with. Mrs. Lewis. Can Excuse me. Hold on. She refused to answer time, any questions. From... Mental capacity is always an issue in a case. Todd Greenberg, a defense attorney, is not involved with this case, but is a former prosecutor who has been lead counsel on more than 50 homicide trials. He explains when it comes to a person's mental capacity, two factors are at play. A defendant's fitness to proceed. Does that person have a basic understanding of what's going on around them? Then there's state of mind at the time of the crime. The so-called insanity defense? Greenberg tells me it's a tough burden to me, up to the defense to prove. Did a person really uh, not appreciate what he was doing or his acts? What comes into that? But what was he doing before? What was he doing in the murder? What did he do after? Did he try to avoid detection? That shows that you do know what you're doing. Now, Chanel Lewis does have a team of attorneys from Legal Aid who did meet with his mom today. Again, he'll be back here in court February 21st. For now, we're live in Kew Gardens, Kimberly Richardson, Channel 7, Eyewitness News. Kimberly, thank you. And you can hear more from Lewis's mom and other community leaders at ABC7NY.